What we have here is more industrial. We want to see more action, more activity. This 80-year-old Stapleton warehouse is now an art studio offering both work and exhibit space for rent. This weekend marks the venue's grand reopening after a temporary shutdown. John Salas, the owner, says the plan is to foster the growing art scene that's right here on Staten Island. As time has changed, uh, we have renovated the gallery to accommodate the new people that are coming into the neighborhood. There is a need for gallery space and there is a need for workshops and more classes. The studio shut its doors in October for renovation. Salas says he wanted to transform the gallery into more of an interactive workspace. This artist who hosts workshops says this helps the borough thrive. It expands the possibilities of exposure and allowing people in the neighborhood and the various boroughs to know that Staten Island does exist as an art community. Salas says the studio is preparing to unveil Obscure Omitted, a unique exhibit featuring five local artists on March 26th. Depending on the artist, they may cover up aspects, hide things, or completely leave things out. Creators of this exhibit also tell me they hope the redesigned space and gallery events will bring a touch of Soho to Staten Island. It does have more of that Chelsea Soho gallery feel, and we want to invite people to come out to the island to experience it. The reopening of the studio comes shortly after the abrupt closure of another art studio in St. George. Deep tanks shut down on March 11th due to building violations. A director from Staten Staten Island Art says it's a major loss for the cultural community. At the moment, we are trying to find homes uh, for the producers and projects that were slated to happen at Deep Tanks. Meanwhile, Salas tells us it's still a work in progress and plans to add an art supply and gift shop later this year. In Stapleton, Tanya Klitsch, New York One.